Hello, this is Pastor Nathan with our Friday devotion, and we're going to get into prayer and looking at prayer specifically with forgiving other people. And Jesus says some really strong things about how if we want to be forgiven and if we want our prayers to be heard, uh, we need to forgive others. So we're going to read a passage just related to that. This is Matthew chapter 6. Right after Jesus gives us the Lord's Prayer, we get this little section about forgiving others. So Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive other sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. So let's join in a word of prayer. And before we do, take a moment and think of those who you're holding offenses against. People who have done things to you and you're holding a grudge. And you're still angry about it. And take some time to forgive them in your own heart. And then we'll come before God. Father, we, we ask forgiveness of you. We repent and turn from our sins. Uh, even as believers, knowing that we're eternally forgiven by you, we come today to repent and say, well, we have sinned individually, as a body of believers, as a people and a nation. Uh, we've done wrong, we've, we've sinned against you, and we've sinned against others. And so we ask for forgiveness for that. Please do hear our prayers uh, and help us to have a heart and spirit of forgiveness that not just today in this little moment that where we stop and, and forgive, but that we would live forgiveness in every instance, that when conflicts come up, particularly when it's conflicts over opinions, that we would be quick to forgive quick to extend love and grace to one another because you are so quick to extend love and grace to us. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your love and your grace. And we ask for forgiveness for our sins. We, we repent. Again, we turn from our sin. We turn from our, our wrongdoing individually, as a congregation, and as a country desire to follow after you. Forgive us this day, Lord. May, be, may all honor and praise and glory be to you. Amen. Have a great weekend, and I encourage you to make, make repentance to God a regular thing, and to take, take times in your day to, to pause and in your heart forgive others, and if need, go and talk to them reconcile with them and not hold grudges against people so may we all join in in living that way especially in a year where things are really things are really tense there's not a lot of civility there's not a lot of love and forgiveness help us to be models of that so let's all join in that together love you all have a great weekend god bless